Hello viewers, Anurag here from Edutrainix. In the beginning, everyone is puzzled on how to start the PT preparation and prepare for the exam. What to do when the PT algorithm changes? Well, I am going to answer all such questions in this video by showing you a success story of one of my students, Marco, from Spain, who failed the exam three times before joining us and later succeeded in the very first attempt. So don't wait till the end, hit the subscribe bell icon. But in the end, I am also going to give you a link to download Marco's two month simple PT study plan that will provide you a lot of support in your preparation. I can guarantee if you follow such a study plan religiously and follow these new tips and tricks that I'm going to share you will definitely succeed. And how many times did you attempt PT before coming to Edutrainix? Uh, it was uh, three times before Edutrainix. Hmm. Three times, okay. Hmm. And after learning at Edutrainix, how many times did you have to give the PT test to reach your target score? No, it was only one, so I mean the exam only. So when Marco came to me, he did not have any plan how to do his preparation, how to prepare for the exam. So I firstly prepared a custom study plan that he can follow and succeed. He knew his target was 65 to get admission into a college in Australia. So I set a goal for him of around 70 in each band. The first task that I gave to him was to understand the test properly, even though he gave the exam a couple of times before. So he went through all my strategy videos and made notes and also did live classes with me. The next step was to check his competency. So Marco gave a mini mock test on the Edutrainix learning website and we went through together what tasks he was good at and what task he was lacking in his weaknesses. This is the crucial step in your preparation. You should also be analyzing that. And then we began the live classes for Marco, focusing especially on his weak areas. I personally guided him in those weak areas. And while doing so, I realized that he was using some shortcut techniques that he saw on the YouTube the one-liner strategies and he said to me sir many of these shortcut techniques worked in my first exam but I'm getting low scores in writing and speaking especially in the last two attempts do you know why this is because the PTAI algorithm is a machine learning software and it keeps evolving making it perfect day by day so these shortcut techniques have an expiry date to it. So did I teach him more shortcut one-liner techniques? No, I gave him strategies and techniques that closely follows the official PT scoring guidelines. So there are no expiry dates to our strategies. Let's ask Marco, did the Edutrainx PT learning platform help him and how? The website is pretty good. I think that that it has a high quality because as well you can study for yourself and you have the feedback directly from the from the uh, artificial intelligence. Edutrainix presents a world-class PTE training software with hundreds of happy students. Packages that suit everybody and budget. Color-coded explanations for all practice questions. Tips and strategies on the practice page. Visual and verbal analysis to provide solid analysis. In-depth feedbacks for all speaking and writing tasks. Unlimited mock tests. Detailed test reports. Everyday live classes. An Intelli assistant to help you at each step.
I also noticed in his writing that Marco was making grammatical mistakes and his vocabulary was not up to the mark, not very strong. I anticipated this by looking at his previous PT scores. So I included the action in his study plan which was to go through the grammar session with us and in the exam strictly use grammar tenses only what is essential. We don't need to use the complex grammar in the exam at all. For reading part, it was a bit challenging. With an everyday target to read full editorial articles from BBC and adding to his vocabulary the words he didn't know. And how can we forget the PTE official collocation word list? Very, very important to familiarize yourself with it. Everyone should do it. Reading every day and going through the list. Before doing the mock tests, the last part to focus was on fluency, which is the essence of speaking section. His fluency was decent initially, but he still made some mistakes like correcting himself and pronunciation was a little rusty due to his Spanish accent. Well, applaud to this guy. He corrected those mistakes and started using his lips to pronounce the words correctly. His final speaking score in the exam was very close to 90. Amazing. This is what fluency and pronunciation can do to your speaking scores in the exam. Take an inspiration from Marco. In a nutshell, the formula to succeed in the PTE is provided in his study plan. Download it using the link provided below and follow it properly, religiously. I gave you all the tips and tricks in the form of Marco's story. Like and subscribe and share this inspirational story with others and inspire them to succeed. Goodbye for now.